What's going on, Bamfers? Jordan here. So today I'm gonna show you how to do the single best growth hack. It's, maybe it's not even a growth hack, actually. I think this is just a way to work that I've discovered in the last three years. And so one, we're gonna uh, show you how to find an outsourcer. We're gonna show you why outsourcing is the, the way to go. And then I'm gonna show you exactly how you should be communicating with your outsourcer and how to think about outsourcing generally. I know people talk a lot about it, but this is actually my procedure that I use for communicating with my outsourcer. And the key is you just have to find someone really, really, really good. And so we're gonna walk you through that. And then I'm gonna save you from sort of the hassle of, oh, how do I communicate with an outsourcer? What should I outsource? What, what shouldn't I? I'll make all of that clear. So I'm actually doing growth right now for a company called purse.io where you can save five to 33% off everything on Amazon when you buy with Bitcoin. So I'm looking for Bitcoin companies. So I, I'm just gonna research a few rows here. Um, it's exactly the same process I would use if I was going to do this. And this is helpful because you learn things about your own task that you wouldn't otherwise sort of had figured out if you didn't actually do the work. So go ahead and open QuickTime if you're on a Mac to file new screen recording. Make sure the uh, microphone, the microphone selected here because it's usually not. So you'll end up recording a, a blank video and then just click on your screen and it'll record the whole screen. And, and then, you know, just talk, talk through what you're doing. All right, so I'm looking for Bitcoin companies. I always forgot what I was looking for. So let's look at Crunchbase. Oh, that looks great, huh? All right. So I'm just going to search for Bitcoin. I happen to know Crunchbase. So these are just Bitcoin companies. So let's look at CoinSecure. Oh, okay, great. CoinSecure, Delhi, India. We only want to work with U.S. companies because that's the market we support. So now I, I can tell the outsourcer, if you see any companies that are not in the United States, just skip them. It's not, you know, it's not good for, for my particular purposes. So we definitely want to sort by location. So they can do that here. Let's go ahead and actually see if I can sort by location here. It's the first time I'm doing this. So uh, uh, United States. Great, that worked. Although London, <laughs> I guess they're also in San Francisco here. So let's look at Ledger. They're in France, so let's not look at Ledger. Uh, San Francisco, Coin Tracker, great. So now I'm gonna grab the name here. Don't worry about how efficient you are, Coin Tracker, because you're not going to be doing the actual work. You're just doing a couple of the rows. So I actually want them to grab this description. So I'm looking for a quick summary of what the company does so that when I evaluate this list, it's gonna be helpful for me. So let's look at the title, uh, headquarter location, San Francisco. So San Francisco. This is helpful because now I know if I email, hey, what's up, let's meet for coffee, you're in San Francisco, I'm in San Francisco. Now let's look in LinkedIn, coin tracker company. See all three employees, okay. So that's a, that's a little hint there. So now I definitely, because I've done this work myself, I realize, okay, this is like a, probably a pretty small company, Coin Tracker. So this is the co-founder. So I'm gonna copy the person's name. Now, this is kind of a nice little hack here is that you definitely don't wanna find that person's email because if your outsourcer is really good and they're doing this type of work, they should be able to, they should already have a system for finding someone's email. So you can just say, go ahead and add the email there. And this is gonna be a good test for later. So uh, Ma's domain rank, so I'll often do the domain rank so that I know how legit the company is, basically how long they've been around. So I can, let's do Moz domain rank checker. I've searched this a couple times, so they may, uh, uh, domain, Moz domain rank checker. Open site explorer, that's the tool. Great, so I'm gonna search here, 10. So uh, notice that everything looked really good from a partnership standpoint here. Uh, they, they're for profit, they, they're in San Francisco, they raised a bunch of money here, but their domain rank is 10. So this, uh, our domain rank at purse is a little bit higher, so I'm probably gonna want higher companies. So this is a perfect example where I can say, if you see a low domain rank, go ahead and you just don't do that. So check that first. So now I found some additional context in doing the work that are that's gonna help the, the outsourcers really do a great job. So I'm gonna add employees 
And then we grabbed that summary. Great. So now I have, and I probably want their URL. See, this is like a good example. I, I definitely didn't add, I don't think I added URL. Yeah, so, so I've done this once. Now, great. Now, you probably wanna do this like a couple more times. I'm not gonna put you through, <laughs> through that. Uh, so what you wanna do after this, go ahead and hit stop on your QuickTime video, save it out to Dropbox, grab that link, uh, make sure that this spreadsheet is shared with anyone with the link can edit it, and go ahead and, and send that you grab those two links and let's go to Upwork. So actually, uh, this is gonna be a little bit meta, but um, it's a little bit hard actually to find uh, folks that are on Upwork that are under $10. So I might actually just pick an outsourcer and have them you know, look at Upwork for people below 10 bucks an hour and, and send the exact same test to at least 20 people. That way you say, here's the spreadsheet, here are the instructions, let me know when it can be done. And the best outsourcers are going to reply to you and they're gonna ask questions, right? So for example, if your outsourcer says, how do I find someone's email? If you're having to do email research, that's probably not a good match because they haven't done that before. You definitely wanna find someone that can complement your skill set. I'm not great at finding good email addresses, but that's why I'm hiring an outsourcer. So once you've sent that off to, to 20 people, it'll take about a week or two for results to come back. You're looking for, ideally you're looking for someone that has really, really great English and is not in the United States. I found that folks not in the United States are generally more affordable. And the other thing that's really nice, which I like, is that when I go to bed, they start their work day. So as long as I'm communicating really, really clear, I can ship that task off and get the results back in the morning. I love that. So great, so now we, we have the how-to part. So you've created a video just like this. You shipped it off to a bunch of outsourcers and then you're gonna get results back. So I'm gonna show you some examples of what my outsourcers have done. So here's like uh, Bitcoin companies, I talked about that. The size, the website, a short description, who's the contact person. And I just gave some general criteria here. I said, I want heads of marketing, I want directors. And uh, my outsourcers will come back to me and they'll say, oh, how, are founders okay? I'm like, yeah, founders are okay. We looked at Twitter bios, so everyone that had Bitcoin in their Twitter bio description, I did a quick Excel script to grab their email from the description. Uh, so now I can, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna send these people emails, but now I have an understanding of my audience, who they are, where they're from. I can start to do all sorts of crazy good analysis here. So these are the folks that I'm pretty sure own Bitcoin based on the types of search that I did. I used a, a most who follower wonk. It was like 80 bucks a month. I paid one month, I exported data, and then I, 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 did, I didn't use it again. Uh, so you can do this for all sorts of things. So I, we also did it for YouTube, so we had, um, uh, we had them look for Bitcoin, I, number of subscribers, what's the website, go find the email. Did I email them and sort of a status? So I went through and verified everyone. We also looked at Amazon affiliate links. So I did a Google search for everyone that had a Amazon affiliate link so we could contact them. So these are the types of things that you can do uh, with an outsourcer is you can really scale your time and all it takes is a few rows. You just have to structure the experiment and then send it off. I don't have my outsourcers do any writing. I do have uh, local writers here in the United States that will do writing for me and I will connect those folks with my outsourcers. So if my uh, so we're doing an article right now on like all the places you can spend Bitcoin. So I create a list for the outsourcers. I have them search a bunch of different sites for all the places you can spend Bitcoin, validate that. I have them create a Google map and add each of those places on a Google map. So now I can create really, really robust content with an amazing, I have uh, some college students that are writing for me, really, really good content creators. They don't have to do the research because I have my outsourcers for that. So I can pay them, I pay them a hundred bucks an article and they'll use my outsourcers to do the research and then they will do all of the structuring and the writing. So, so I'm actually having my outsourcers outsource their work to make sure that they're working efficiently and they're making good money for the time that they invest. Now. The other thing that I want you to think about is like, what's your time worth? For me, I'm like maybe 10 bucks an hour. So if I could have an outsourcer that uh, does it for $5 an hour, even if they get it wrong half the time, usually because I provided bad instructions, that's why you do it this way, 
then that's gonna be worth it for me. That's gonna be a time savings. I'm going to accomplish more. So this is how I use outsourcers. Uh, also as a sort of a free gift for everyone in the Banff community, I am happy to edit your resume, uh, give you some uh, uh, growth sort of uh, apprenticeship and, and have you work with me. Uh, I'm happy to help you edit your cover letter, give you some advice here on applying for jobs in San Francisco. It's something I do totally for free for the Banff community. I have really been so grateful that you guys are so engaged. Thanks to Josh for curating the community so, um, you know, he takes a lot of effort in that, so I really appreciate that. If you have any other questions, feel free to send me a note on Facebook. I'm happy to help out, and I hope that this tutorial has been useful for you. I've been working with the same outsourcers for three years, and they're fantastic. Um, it's been going so well that he's actually hired other outsourcers so my outsourcer is now outsourcing his work um which i think is is great oh and that's a key that's definitely something that you want to look out for you want to work with a person you don't want to work with an agency because you're going to invest a lot of time training someone uh building rapport you want to make sure that you're working with one individual person and it's okay if they can't handle the the volume that you're sending Ask that person if they know any friend, uh, any of their friends because you've already developed a relationship with them. So having them in the middle to then go and find other people, that's going to uh, really help out. And just as sort of a thing that you should do that I do is I, I definitely will research that country, figure out what the appropriate wage is, like where they're going to be able to make good money. And, um, and then also I'm pretty flexible. It's like, hey... I'll send off a thing specifically on Friday night so that they have the whole weekend to work on it and generally a large part of the of the week so that, yeah, so that they can work wherever they want, whenever they want, and make sure that I'm paying them a fair wage. So, all right, that's it, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Happy to help where I can. Bye.